Welcome to Garden Chronicles. I just want to show to you my aquatic plants. This is Black Magic, Aca Colocasia. You can see the colors here. It's a little bit faded black with a tinge of green. Uh, I think basically it's because of my area here is quite shaded. It's not a uh, full blasting sun. It's about a few hours of uh, sunlight. You can see here how the back side of the leaf is, the appearance of the dark burgundy. And uh, if you can look down, this is my penny word. Uh, it's sort of like, a, it is a, kind of a vegetable. So some people do eat them fresh. And this is my water lettuce. It's the rose type. And uh, if you can notice it, that I actually planted in this pot. And just keeping it moist. It is actually fully sealed actually. Uh, this is my cypress. Uh, this is also an aquatic plant. It's just growing uh, more like a grass like but it's getting taller and the, the rosette is actually more there. This is my black ripple. Another colocasia hybrid. If you can look at it there, there is uh, all these uh, fine wrinkles on it is different from uh, black coral it's similar to black magic the back side of it if you look at it it's just one plant and i'm actually placing it inside the aquatic uh, container where it's fully sealed so i just wanted to add the water this leaf is a bit spent this is a new leaf you can see the glimmer and the shine on that uh, this is a mexican sort tail uh, sort sod plant uh, it, it's actually an aquatic plant also you can see the flower it, it bears flowers and after the flower comes out there will be a little plantlet that comes out from this uh, if, this particular one is uh, also the same thing but you look at it it's very green and it's not really strong and this is what I mentioned about the plantlet you notice it uh, it, it starts to sprout and eventually there will be roots coming out from that. If I were to poke this into a new container or a pot, it will start to grow as a new uh, plant. The other thing that I want to show to you here is the... Uh, this is how I kept, keep uh, my container which is slightly uh, water, uh, water inside the container also this place here this is a uh, equitris another type of it but it's more faded in this condition uh, it, it doesn't fully cover the black doesn't cover fully it, it is another kind of uh, uh, hybrid uh, or, or a species you may consider it a different type uh, this is a kela lily also this is actually aquatic i'm just keeping it in this uh, this way if you look at it, uh, it has a red colored leaf. Uh, if it's if we receive very strong lighting, the, the colors will stand out. This particular one, uh, they do colonize and they have more than one plant actually. Also, this is teacup. Uh, if you can look at it, there is a uh, it, it, it there's a water contained in the center, and eventually, when it's full, it, it, it descends and the water comes out quite a unique plant actually I actually have four leaves of this there's a new frond coming out from there uh, if you look at it it's, it's quite a unique plant this is the overall of what I actually keep also caladiums if you notice they are too aquatic uh, given the condition of how it's been grown I'm just placing it here because of the sunlight uh, this is my, more like my spare plants uh, just follow me here and I'll show you my water pond where I keep the rest of the other plants. Uh, if you look at this, this is an, another set of uh, water lettuce which I keep it with the aquatic moss. And it's doing fine actually. And this is another set of caladiums uh, which I kept, kept, kept here. This is a newer one that I've actually uh, received from a friend. Uh, chief, uh, cheese leaf plant, Adonai, uh, Adonai, uh, Adonai, 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 
uh, enjoy this is actually a photo this is where the water actually flowing hot from here you can actually see it uh, basically what's what's actually happening here, here is that uh, all these plants actually is coming from this place uh, another type of palladiums that place there if you can notice that they don't go dormant it, and then they actually, they're actually going in the container of stones and pebbles uh, also if you can see some of my uh, philodendron this is a uh, lemon line and this is another monster adonai uh, adosini uh, also brazil we can see the, all of it is actually a small small pots you can just hang it in this place where the water trickles and all more caladiums you can see uh, this is how I set it up actually it's not much of a hard work we're just placing it down here the, there is challenge on this they do grow big but uh, I can always trim it and place it here this is the other rest of it this is actually uh, pinectum uh, Ethereum pinectum there is uh, not fully grown big uh, also the same thing another monstera and uh, also golden photos here and uh, uh, another uh, a food ball of this is growing here this is actually tiny wood uh, also this side i actually put some of this uh, sauté, mexican sauteed plus this is a uh, black magic just trying out and see how they are actually faring uh, also if you look at it this is actually another portion of my water lettuce and this one big uh, plant here has grown big this is actually a uh, blue taro uh, but you can see it's more greener than the other than the blue if it's exposed more to the sun it will turn more more iridescent uh, to uh, i don't know if you can really notice the, the, the sheen there the back of it it doesn't have any uh, uh, coloration except like, like green and then when you look at it the leaf tend to hold water and that's the interesting thing about this particular species uh, and uh, another collection of syngonium king followed by colonia it do seems to handle water very well Anyway, this is my collection of my plants, my aquatic plants. Just want to follow up with my update. Thank you so much for visiting. And do feel free to comment, click like and, and subscribe. Have a nice, wonderful day. Thank you so much. Um.